In today's video, I am showing off how to create this character body 3D controller using C++ in Jadot. And this makes advantage of Project Genova, which allows for C++ scripting in Jadot. So as you can see here, we have this very basic scene with a cube and a floor. And I am able to move my camera around and walk around. I can also jump. And if I push escape, I can exit out. So the way this works is we first have to go project settings input maps, and if you're going to create this yourself, you need a forward, backward, left, right, and escape. And then we can go to our Visual Studio with the code, and this is how it works. So first we include character body, input event, input event mouse motion, and a camera 3D. And we create a speed, a jump velocity as constant variables, and then we have a yaw, a pitch, the camera pointer, and then we can get mouse sensitivity. So the first thing we do is on ready, we grab this node and we use this node, which is the character body 3D from here. We use that to grab the camera. And then we also set our input mode for our set mouse mode, we set it to captured. So this means the mouse is hidden and it cannot leave the screen. And when we destroy this actor, we set mouse mode visible and also if we push escape. So this means we can exit out and close the tab and it also means once the program shuts, our mouse goes back to normal. And then in our on input, we take in this input event and we check, is that event a mouse motion? And if it is, we grab the mouse motion, like we cast it to an input event mouse motion and we capture it. And then we get both yaw and pitch from the relative X and Y times our mouse sensitivity. We clamp the pitch value so that you don't can't look greater than 90 degrees in either direction. And then we set the rotation of this node equal to yaw, and we set the pitch of our camera equal to the pitch we derived here, as long as camera's not a null pointer. And then in our on physics process, we get this node again, we get a velocity, which is equal to this node's velocity, and we get input as a singleton. And if this node is not on the floor, we add gravity times delta as velocity downwards. Then if we are on the floor and we pushed UI accept, which is a space bar, we will increase our velocity by our jump velocity. So this allows us to jump. And then after that, we get an input direction based on left, right, forward, and backward as a vector. And then we get a direction equal to the transform of this node then we do basics x form and we take input direction x and input direction y no y values you can't fly and we normalize that then we simply set our velocities value here we set the x value equal to direction x times our speed and z is equal to direction z times our speed and then we set our velocity equal to that and then we call move and slide and that is everything you need for the character body 3d if we run this in game, we can see we can look around with our mouse based on which way our character is facing. The, the applied velocity is directional that direction, so I can hold W and go forward and rotate around. And I can jump as long as I'm on the floor. And if I jump off the edge, I will just keep falling. And if you want to see how to set up this scene in Godot with the plane and the cube and using a script to set the color, you should click on this video here. And until next time, see ya.